Of course, as a guy that came from Maryland, did you watch LSU and Alabama growing up? Yeah, for sure. My whole life I've been watching those games, uh, especially like the defensive players in those games. Like I used to look up to a lot of those guys, uh, Devin White, all the linebackers that came through and played on those game, in those games were crazy. Even on Alabama's team, they had uh, Ruben Foster. He was a guy I used to look at. So, yeah, I definitely used to watch all those games. So what's it been like to step into it and, and play in it? And, and what is the um, feeling after you walk away from a game like that? I mean, it's just an honor being able to play in a game like that. I mean, obviously, uh, those two, obviously, we have a lot of talent in both the programs. And it's obviously a big rivalry. Um, it's just an honor. I'm blessed to be able to play in, the, in that type of game. And that, that's one of the reasons I came to LSU to play in games like that. Can you uh, kind of speak about, you know, the secondary is depleted. You've got some new guys kind of running with the first team. What have you seen from them in practice since they've had to step into those roles? Uh, I've seen a lot of things. I mean, those guys are doing a great job. Uh, the three freshmen, uh, Stamps, Jeremiah, and Toviano, uh, they're doing a good job communicating out there. I mean, we're just trying to make their job as easy as possible. I mean, obviously they're young guys. We just want them to go out there and play fast and play with confidence. I think they're going to do a great job. Obviously, you play a different position, but right. you, you've been on this defense before. You've been a leader here. How have you kind of used your role to kind of help them and guide them along? And hey, this is this is the biggest stage that you're going to have a chance to play on right now. Right. Uh, I mean, just like I said, just trying to make those guys feel comfortable. Like I was talking to Toviano last week during the bye week, and I was just telling them, I mean, you've been playing corner all your life. I mean, you this what you came here to do? Just go out there and play. Just play fast. I think. I honestly think all three of those guys are going to do a great job when they get the opportunity. Hey, Greg. It's like we've seen the Bama offense get better and better as the season has gone on. So what are some of the challenges that they are going to provide for you guys? Well, I think they provide a lot of challenges. Um, I think, like you said, offensively they've gotten better each week. I think they're starting to find the identity of what they want to be. Uh, I feel like their running back is a great player. Obviously, their quarterback likes, uh, he's a great athlete. He likes to take vertical, vertical shots down the field. So, I mean, they, they obviously cause a big uh, problem for us. I think we need to go out there and just focus and play to our game plan, and I think we'll come out with a great outcome. With their offense, is it kind of a case where, I don't want to say they lull you to sleep, but it seems like when you relax, that's when he throws that deep bomb and beats the defense. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I've been seeing it on film. He has a great arm. Uh, he, he, he really launches it downfield on deep play action shots. At times, you least expect it, too. So like you said, we just need to stay. And everyone just needs to have their eyes right on their key and things like that. And just go out there and do your job. If, every, if all 11 is doing their job, we'll, we'll do, do a great job. I think every year LSU's been to the SEC championship, they've had to beat Alabama, and it right. appears this looks no different. So how right. do you view the game in terms of, you know, not making it too big, but also realizing, hey, if we don't win this game, we're out of the, the hunt? Right. Yeah, um, like you said, to win the West, usually you got to go through Alabama, and we know, we know the type of game is going to be Saturday, just like I said a couple weeks ago about all the games in the SEC West. It's going to be a war. We just got to go out there ready to play. We know what we're walking into. Um, have you played at Bama before? My freshman year. Uh -huh. What do you remember from that game? Uh, it was a crazy game. A lot of people didn't think we had a shot. Uh, we came out there. I don't know how. I can't remember how much we lost by, but it was a great game. It was a good atmosphere, though. Uh, I kind of expected that. Uh, us going in and playing a great game. We just came up short that year, but it was a great atmosphere. The crowd was pretty good. The thing I remember in the fourth quarter, the lights came off, and that was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I think it was 2014. That's what it was. You were like a 30-point underdog, and you almost won. Uh-huh, yeah. I remember. I remember. Uh -huh. <laughs> so when you go into a big game like this, and you got a quarterback like Jaden, who's got ice water through his veins, right. how, how much confidence does that give the team collectively at the most important position, right? Oh, yeah. We have the utmost confidence in our offense and Jaden. Um, I feel like if, we, if the defense just go out there and does our job, get the ball back to the offense, we'll come out with a great outcome. So if we go out there and do our jobs, I feel like the office has been taking care of business all year. We just got to go out there and do our 111 and help them out. How, how big would it be to 
force a turnover or two, right? Steal a possession or two from them. That's very important for us. Uh, all year it's been important. Usually when we force, force turnovers, we usually win the game. So that's going to be a big point of emphasis going into the game. How much has Harrell improved your, your pass defense? Because he's dropped back there and yeah. done some things, right? Yeah, Perk is, just, Perk is a freak. I mean, he can do whatever you really need him to do. He can pass, rush, cover. So anything you need him to do, he can do. That, that's Perk for you. Before the season started, we talked to all the captains in here. Right. Uh, the two for the defense, Makai and Greg, you won't have them on the field Saturday. Right. Who have you kind of noticed around the defense? You could even say yourself has kind of stepped up into that captain and leadership role on yeah. the field. I mean, I, would, I wouldn't say it's just one person. I'd say collectively as a whole, guys on the defense have started to step up and kind of talk more. Obviously, we got two leaders out for this upcoming game, which is unfortunate, but we know we got to go out there and still play. Uh, I was on Twitter, I seen what John Trey said a couple years ago, 11, 11, we're going to fight like Tigers. So, I mean, we're just going to go out there and fight like Tigers. We got 11, so it is what it is.